Hey folks, and welcome to Randallology. Back in October of 2019, I bought a solar-powered 60-watt street light from the website called Wish. It was $34 US with $12 shipping. I said, eh, what the heck, I'll give it a try. This video will show you how I made the mounting pole for the light out of PVC pipe. Mounted it and then checked out the operation and we'll find out was it worth it or not. Let's find out. So what I need to do is to mount this to the pole out there in the driveways. I need a pole to mount to the utility pole that comes in. And I was going to use some metal uh, tubing, but I don't know where my tubing bender is for handling good sized pipe. So I thought, okay, we're going to give this another try. So I've got some inch and a half PVC that bolts right into here, fine, but no problem at all. And of course, when I mount it, I don't want it perfectly 90 degrees. I kind of want it at an angle because I played with it last night out there kind of holding it up to get an angle of how the light would spread out so i'm not I'm going to probably do it about maybe a 45 degree and so i just randomly came back made me a mark here where i'm going to make my bend and then i came back and made another mark here where i'm going to cut it and then right here where this mark is then i'm going to flatten this down and then drill me a couple of holes in here to go through and uh, uh, be able to mount it to the pole. So let me get this cut off and then I'll show you how we're going to bend it. So now what, I, what we're going to do to bend this is I've taped up this back end with masking tape. <clears throat> and I'm going to fill the whole thing with play sand. And then we're going to try to use the heat gun here to heat the conduit or pipe right here where I got this mark, heat it all around here and then bend it. By putting the sand in there, that'll keep it from kinking the PVC. So we're going to give that a shot next, fill her up with sand. Okay, got our PVC sitting here, got us a funnel. Got us some play sand. And start filling her up. You get the idea. I'll bring it back on our full. Okay. And see, now we've got our sand all down here. So what I'm going to do now is I'll put the masking tape over that so it won't spill out. Then we'll rake out the heat gun and see what we can do. Okay, I've been running this heat gun about 15 minutes. And of course you got to you know, heat up the PVC and you've got to heat up the sand. You can see it's starting to bow just a little bit now. You've got to take your time. If you leave the heat gun on there too long, you'll burn the PVC. Okay, I'm going to use two hands here, see if I can't bend this, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I've got her bent to the angle that I want. I wanted a slight upward angle here, and yeah, the PVC did buckle just a little bit, but it would have totally went flat had I not had uh, that sand in there. So, again, you got to be patient, and I'm going to hold it here till it cools down to a point, and then we can take the sand out. And then I'll make the that end down there flat, heat it up, flatten it out, so that I can drill two holes to be able to mount it to the utility pole. So after this cools, I'll bring you back. <laughs> well, the sun's gone down now, and the light came on by itself. 
Man, that thing's pretty bright. Hope it'll work out nice where I'm going to put it. Okay, so anyway, the pipe is cooled down enough now, and we still got the uh, sand in there. So what we're going to do is take her back over here. foot on here keep from having to spill it and we'll cut this out I'm do this one hand without making a mess Booger watching the camera to see if the camera's on the subject and then watching what you're doing and then you wind up and the camera's drifting away. So I apologize for that. Alright, so now pour the sand back in the bag. Here we go. Let her all out of there. A lot lighter. It's still a little bit warm, but it's not warm enough to be able to do anything. But as you can see right here, it it puckered just a little bit. But all in all, I mean that's this part right here is going to mount against the pole, and then the light will go on the end of that. So let me get all the tape off of this, and then we'll work on flattening this end. hot and uh, lay it down in here in the press I'm going to put a flat piece across there and I'm going to lay the phone down so I can bring it right back okay so I got a piece of steel that I laid down there laid it on the tube of six and run the jack down and I'm sitting here holding it to where that it's semi flush with the tube of six and we'll let it cool and then when it cool we'll take her out okay we've got her cool now so let's take off the pressure and see what happens ta-da see there we go there's my profile so when I, I'll drill me a couple of holes in there, mount it to the utility pole out there, then it'll come up, go over, and the light will fit right there on the end. Looking at it from that angle. So far, so good. Of course, now I know that it's PVC. And PVC will break and be brittle and uh, and all that jazz. But, I mean, that light doesn't weigh anything. I mean, probably a pound, if anything, on there. It's very, very lightweight. But, so now we'll get the two holes drilled in this. Then I'll give this a little light sanding. And I'm going to paint it gray, the same color as the light. So let me get that done, and when I get this hose drilled in here, then I'm going to use a couple of light bolts with washers to go into the utility pole to hold this in place. And when I get this painted paint gray, then I'll show you the end result. Okay, now I have given this now a light sanding with some 120 grit grit. grit? <laughs> some 120 grit sandpaper and to rough it up and clean the surface and I'm going to wipe it down here like with a brick cleaner or lacquer center or acetone something like that and then we're going to spray it with some gray spray paint and the reason for doing a light sanding is PVC naturally is slick and normally paint won't stick to it and if you uh, do a light sanding you have a better opportunity of it sticking 
And I don't know if I've got any of that paint that's designed for plastic too that'll stick, but I'm gonna check and we'll see what we got. That's the closest I could come to a gray is this gray uh, truck and van paint here. It's kind of like a, almost like a metallic, but not really. But I've had this can probably, it's a new can never been used, but I've had it in the cabinet for probably about four years or something like that. And the key to making sure that this thing will work the first time is to use your heat gun, turn it on low, and just slowly go around that can to get the can good and warm. You know, and then, uh, then turn it over on the bottom and kind of heat it around through there. And when you get it warm to touch, then, you know, like you would normally do with a can of spray can paint, shake it up real good. You can hear the ball rattling. And, uh, but then, you know, continue heating it to where it gets it good and warm. Let it sit a little bit and then heat it again. And so as soon as I pop the top on it, and we got two coats on here now. And looks pretty doggone good. Around here to this other side. Like I say, that's two coats, but I'm gonna give it a, at least a third or fourth, three or four coats on that. I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then I'll mount that light tomorrow. We got four coats on here now. And I'm impressed with the way this has turned out. Get around the light here. That looks pretty doggone good. So like I said, I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow we'll mount it. Okay, here we are the next day. And, oh yeah, this looks good. Let me get it off the, off the hook here. Let's take it out here in the sun. Oh, yes. <laughs> I like the way that turned out. Okay, so now let's stick the light on there now and see what that's going to look like. Okay, I'm just stick, temporarily stuck it here in the uh, scaffolding. But, yeah. I think that's going to look pretty nice. <laughs> now get the ladder climb the pole and mount it okay well yesterday afternoon when I was going to put this light up uh, I had a few obligations I had to take care of part of them was on a honeydew list and so it was dark 30 by the time I got back put it in I'll throw a snapshot in there of that but anyway uh, it came on last night of course it was on when i put it up and didn't get it as high as i really wanted to but i'm glad i put it up last night because this morning we woke up to this our first snow in east tennessee in 2019 here in october but anyway but i mean it worked great the thing's got a motion sensor in it to where the light is dim and if anything gets within the range and the uh, range has got I mean, a good distance from it then it goes into high brightness but yeah it stayed on all night long so the battery charged up and so I mean I apologize for not you know being able to get you guys to see me install it but that's the end result right there but uh, anywho We've got her up. We'll see how long it lasts and, you know, whether it was worth the money. But what I paid for it, I'm not going to complain. Okay. It's been three months since I've put that light up. And it comes on every night. 
and of course you can see the brightness of it as I walk over to it and the motion sensor picks me up it'll get brighter I think it already picked me up <laughs> but you know don't have the filter on the lens here but yeah, I mean, it, it lights up the ground pretty cotton picking good around here. Probably, well, of course, the camera's not doing it justice, but it's it lights up a good 25, 30 feet diameter. But, yeah, it's still holding up, still works every night. So, I'm pleased with it. Hey folks, thanks for stopping by here at Randallology. I appreciate you watching the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, make a comment, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Y'all come back now. You hear?